in this project, we will simulate discrete phase flow trapper by gravity. The geometry which you can see in this slide is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. The mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. After double clicking on discrete phase model, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, under the interaction section, we do not enable the interaction with continuous phase, since we want to do one-day coupling simulation. Also, under the particle treatment, we do not enable unsteady particle tracking, since our simulation is in a steady form. Uh, under the tracking tab, we leave the values to their default, and by clicking on physical model tab, we can select the different forces we want to apply to our particle. In order to add a new material to the Fluent software, you just have to right click on, a, on the material tab and then click on new. After clicking on new, a new window will appear. For example, in this project, a report uh, of type of area weighted average for the variable of static pressure is defined on the inlet surface. In this particle tracking contour, you can easily see that the particles have entered the computational domain through the inlet, and some of them are actually trapped on the cold outlet boundary, and uh, some of them uh, left the computational domain through the outlet. Now, as was defined in the previous section, uh, in the boundary conditions section, uh, the flows containing uh, discrete phase enters from the inlet, and after uh, passing through the bent walls shown in the picture, it exits the computational domain from the outlet, which is on the left side of the geometry. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. We deal with multi-phase flows in various mechanical and engineering systems and their application is increasing. Therefore, in order to have more efficient systems, we must have a complete understanding of such flows. Multi-phase flows were classified into different groups, one of which is dispersed multi-phase flows, which is very common in engineering systems. Dispersed multi-phase flows include bubble flow, droplet flow, and particle flow, and etc. In such a flow, one phase is considered the carrier phase, in which particles, bubbles, and droplets are dispersed, and form other phases. CFD simulation plays a prominent role in optimizing the design of distributed multi-phase flow systems. In this project, we will simulate and analyze the flow of a particle trapping mechanism called the discrete phase trapper. In order to simulate the particles, the discrete phase model is activated, and safran leaf force and pressure gradient forces are also applied to particles. Also, since the trapping mechanism mainly works with gravity, the gravity has been taken into account. The flow containing continuous and dispersed phases enters the computational domain with a speed of 5 m per second, and the standard K epsilon model is exploited for solving fluid flow equation. The geometry which you can see in this slide is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software and includes a, an inlet and outlet on each side of it. The mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured and the element number is equal to 420,485. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com